Hello everybody, Red Skull, true Scottish early morning gamer here, and I'd just like to talk to you about the ridiculous uh, Halo 3 fanboys in the Halo community that are bashing Halo 5. Everybody knows that Halo 5 is an amazing game, probably the best Halo game of all time. It's ridiculous that people would bash such an amazing game. Yes, there's a few issues with the game, but at the end of the day, Halo Reach would have had the same issues if it was released today, so clearly Halo 5 is the better game. Clearly it's better than Halo 3 and Halo Reach. Yes, we know Halo 3 and Halo Reach had split screen and stuff like that, but split screen doesn't even matter. It's irrelevant these days. And 343 are bringing it back now anyway. Because of you retarded idiots that want it back. Well, yes, I want it back too, but actually it's not important, so... It never was. <clears throat> so, anyway, these retarded, toxic idiots in the community that just keep spouting stuff about 343 are ridiculous. Everybody knows that Halo has to evolve. It can't stay the same. Just because the game has changed, that doesn't make it a bad game. It doesn't. The game needs to evolve. It has to keep changing. It has to, otherwise it'll just end up being boring. And they're not copying Call of Duty or games like that. That's a ridiculous notion. Smart scoping is a Spartan ability that 343 have added in. No games do what Halo 5 does. There's no fucking Spartan charge or anything in any other game. It's not copied from anywhere. You know, ground pounding and all that. It's fucking, it's new. It's something different. Seriously, you're all blinded by nostalgia. You all think you're living 10 years ago. Halo 3 is dead, okay? Halo Reach is dead. This is the future. This is Halo 5. And these nostalgia-driven fanboys just want Halo 3 over and over and over again. And that's not what we want. We want new experiences. We want Halo 5. One of the best games ever made. I mean, just look at the game. It was so fucking amazing. I mean, 343 were just perfect with the lore. Perfect. I mean, Bungie, they couldn't write themselves out of a fucking paper bag. Are you kidding me? 343 kills Bungie with lore. You know? I, I just love all these generic red elites that they keep making high command. They're so fucking awesome. The new characters like in Halo Wars, like Decimus. What a great character he was. So fucking original. I love him. Just brilliant characters. I mean, Sergeant Locke. What a great guy. What a great guy. New character. You know, so fucking interesting. What a great personality. Master Chief doesn't have any personality like Locke. Locke's like a fucking badass. Everybody loves Spartan fucking Locke. What the fuck? And even if you think Sergeant Locke and crew are boring, let's face it, so are all the characters in Halo 1 to 3, so it doesn't really matter. Seriously, these Bungie fanboys with the retarded nostalgia, just crazy. Toxicity off the chart with these idiots. You know, you've just need to ignore these haters. That's why I'm making this video, to tell you you need to ignore them. And people that want to blame fucking 343 for this, didn't Bungie make Halo Reach? I mean, isn't Halo Reach the start of all these problems, like sprint and armor abilities? It wasn't Halo Reach a terrible fucking game? No, 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 because you're a Bungie fanboy. You're a Bungie fanboy, that's why. Because it was Reach that started it all. Because that's what Green Skull says, and he clearly knows what he's talking about. So it must be true. And you can't even blame 343, because the truth of the matter is, it's fucking Microsoft. If there's any problems with the game, you just blame Microsoft. It's not 343, they just make the game. It's Microsoft that caused any of the issues. It's Microsoft's fault that split screen was removed and things like this. It's nothing to do with 343. That's bullshit. I mean, come on. It's not like 343 and Microsoft are the same thing, is it? Come on. Damn Halo 3 fanboys. Just listen to what Frank O'Connor says. I mean, he knows everything, so you just listen to what he says. I mean, he's telling you the truth. He said there's going to be no H3A, and there isn't going to be. Just believe what he says. I mean, he's always told the truth in the past. I mean, he told us all about all the stuff for Halo 5, and that was all true. I mean, nothing was. there was no lies in there. What's wrong with people? I know I uninstalled the game, but that's just because I was trying to send a message. I really do love the game now, so that, just trust me on that. Just trust me on that. Um, the campaign in Halo 5 was fucking amazing. I mean, seriously. Have you ever played a better campaign? It was just so fucking amazing. All those teleporting enemies. It was so much fun to fight. Those ammo boxes, you couldn't even tell where ammo boxes are halfway through the game. That was amazing. 
We loved it. I mean, come on. What other Halo game do does Master Chief have a little bit of a fight with another Spartan for about five seconds? None. No, it never happens. It was amazing. Come on. Let's talk about the rec system, okay? So, everybody likes to bash the rec system, but it's a necessity in the game, and it's way better than paid DLC. I mean, let's face it. If you have paid DLC, that separates the plucking player base, and that's just fucking stupid. I mean, it's not like uh, the DLC playlist could just be in there just for separately. I mean, it's all got to be integrated into the game, right? Yeah? So, they can't do that. So paid DLC was one of the worst things they ever did. Having microtransactions in the game is a lot fucking better. A lot fucking better. Surely. And you're going to complain about them? I talked to 343 directly, and I was concerned about this system. But now I'm telling you that it's a good system because I spoke to them, and all the questions that I asked, they had the right responses. So you should listen to me because I'm telling you that 343 know what they're doing. I mean, seriously. And anyway, it's not even 343's doing because it's fucking Microsoft. <laughs> Come on now. Stop blaming 343. It's all Microsoft's doing. And the new firefight mode that was added is literally the best game mode 343's ever made. They just keep getting better. I mean, I know it revolves around the microtransaction system, but just spend some fucking money in the game already. I mean, haven't you bought like 500 packs already so you've got stuff in the firefight mode? Seriously, people. Spend your money in the rec system, come on. That's what you need to do to get good at the game and enjoy the game. You need to spend more money. God. 343 have been amazing since the Reach update. I mean, literally, the Reach update made the game ten times fucking better. It didn't cause any issues whatsoever and everybody loved it. Amazing. I mean, the playlists speak for themselves. 343, the playlist for 343's uh, game mode, are way fucking more populated. Seriously. And let's talk about the MCC, okay. I have never, ever, ever, ever had a single issue with the MCC. It's been perfect since day one for me. I understand other people are having issues, but quite frankly, I can't see them. And all these updates to the game just improved it. I mean, there was literally no problem finding matches from day one. But even if there was for some people, that seems to be fixed now. So what? Like, why is everybody still saying the MCC is broken? I don't understand it. I mean, I've, I've got like 200 gamer score in the game and I've never had a problem, so I don't understand it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And even if you're going to say that, you can't blame 343 Industries. You've got to blame Microsoft. They released the game and you've got to blame Sabre and all those other teams. They're the real issue, not 343. You don't blame 343 for anything. They're blameless. All these people in the community talking about 343 are just doing it for drama and views. They're not doing it because they legitimately give a shit about the game or the game industry. It's just for drama and clicks and views. Now, I've played every single Halo game, right? I mean, I've got 12 accounts, so you won't be able to see any of that information on my account. I've probably got like... I don't know, 10 gamer score here and there on the account I'm on now, but you just have to take my word for it that I had like 12 accounts in the past, and, and you know, obviously I played on them, so I know a lot about Halo. I have good memories from every single Halo game, even the weaker ones like ODST, even though I've only got 150 gamer score on it, but it was another account, it was another account. And seriously, these Bungie fanboys, have you forgot that Bungie made Destiny? I mean, that's one of the worst games ever fucking made. It's just fucking flat out sucks. Come on. And you're going to support Bungie? Bungie were never any good. It's all about 343. It's all about Halo 5 and Halo 4. They're the best Halo games ever made. 343 actually listens and cares about its fans. Everybody knows this. If you go and post on the forum, they will answer you directly. You know, they answer any problems and issues like they're doing with split screen now. They, they, if you've got a problem with the game, they will address it and they will fix it for you. They're really good and they listen to the community all the time. And I think if they do release Halo 3 Anniversary, they should put it on the MCC because the MCC is fine right now and it would make sense for them to do that because then obviously everybody can experience it on the MCC and it would be a lower cost because obviously it would be a lower cost to put it as DLC rather than make a new standalone game, don't you see? It makes perfect sense. Even the Halo fucking pros like Walshy and stuff, they say the game's fucking amazing. I mean, the Halo Championship series, hello? 
everybody knows that fucking Halo's like still top in the MLG circuit and whatnot. Everybody knows that it's all the way up there. I mean, the old Halo games had that stupid 2% babyish gravity jump anyway. Who the fuck cares about that? You know what I'm saying? It's fucking stupid. Why do you have a 2% babyish gravity jump? Like, what the fuck? And you want to talk about the bad music in Halo 4 and, and maybe Halo 5 as well? Are you crazy? You remember the fucking music from Halo 1 to 3? The same retarded monks going, oh, 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 oh. Well, what's so great about that? Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking crazy, that's what you people are. And Halo 5 has sold like 7 million fucking copies. And you're saying the game's been poorly received? Are you fucking nuts, people? You're fucking nuts. You know, even if that was the case, the game industry has completely fucking changed. Completely changed since then. I mean, people just play other shit now. There's so many great games all available at the same time. You just don't have time these days to fucking play fucking Halo games, even if you want to. I mean, come on. I mean, Halo 5 is the right way to do DLC through and through. I mean, it's free. It's all free content. And, you know, there's plenty of content available at launch to keep you going until the more content comes out. I mean, it's the same model that Minecraft and shit uses. So what's the problem? I don't understand. And if you want some more XP, just get yourself some Mountain Dew. I mean, everybody loves Mountain Dew, right? So why wouldn't you get more Mountain Dew to get more XP codes? And I know 343 lied about the marketing for Halo 5, but it's the same thing that Oni would have done uh, in the series, so we can't really blame him for that, because, you know, it fits with the, with the theme of the game. To put it simply, 343 have inherited a boulder. A boulder that they got from Bungie. Now, they're still trying to learn how to move this boulder, you know. They're trying to push it through the mud, you know. It's, you know, they're learning, they're saying, mm, now we need to pull the rock this way. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to pull the rock. But, you know, they're learning, they're stumbling, okay. You've got to give them a chance, okay. They're a great fucking company. They listen to the fans, okay. These bungee fucking Halo free toxic, nostalgic fanboys are just ridiculous, and they're just missing the whole fucking point. 343 is the best company on Earth. Halo 5's the best Halo game ever made. And there's nothing you can do about it. Let's face it. Halo 5 is the fucking best. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. And anybody in the comments, feel free to bash them. Because they're clearly bungee fanboys who can't handle the truth.